Phil out of PGH back with a video podcast. If you're hearing this and you're listening on one of your podcast apps, go to fitloudpgh.com or check out our YouTube channel and you get to watch the Labradors walking in the snow. Periodically, we do these video podcasts, do a little talking, promote movement as a lifestyle. And today's podcast is to answer a question that we get a lot of times. How can we never see your dogs off leash? Well, first of all, the dogs are generally off leash when they're at home, when they're in the fenced in backyard. But when you see us on videos, when you see movement tip and lifestyle hacks, we're almost always in some public place. And just about every place we've been requires dogs to be on a leash. And I know sometimes it's not cool, it's not hip to obey the law. But the big thing is I want to make sure that my dogs have a great life and that I don't run the potential of losing them because they do something that causes them to be confiscated. So the first reason I keep my dogs on a leash is in most places it's the law. The second reason I keep my dogs on a leash is I don't want them running off. They're pretty well behaved, but if they get spooked, if they see a deer, if they see a rabbit, if they see a turkey, they could run off. I might have to search for them. Worst case scenario, they run out in front of a car and get hit and I lose them sooner than I have to and I'd really like to avoid doing that. I still remember with my first lab, Jasmine, she slipped a collar on a busy street in Lakeland, Florida. and She thought it was great fun to run and hop around while I tried to catch her. So that really left a lasting memory with me. I try to avoid that. The third reason I keep them on a leash, I don't want them to get hurt. A lot of the trails we go on, pretty technical, drop-offs, stream crossings that are rough, although Maggie does a great job of leading the way. And I know that if they can run freely, they're more likely to get hurt because I can't control them. And hurt maybe being getting bit by another dog that happens to be off leash, hurt maybe if they happen to spook a wild animal, although that's probably not super likely. Hurt being if you're somebody like Maggie who has the nickname Trash Mouth, eating something that I don't know what she ate and she gets sick. So to keep them from getting hurt, or not actually to keep them from getting hurt, but to reduce the chances of them getting hurt, I keep them on a leash. The final reason I keep them on a leash, and this was a conscious decision way back when I got my first lab in 2000, I wanted energetic labs, I wanted happy labs, but I didn't want dogs that cause problems for other dogs or people. So my main reason for keeping on a leash when I'm in public is I don't want to be a jerk. It isn't all about me. It isn't all about the Labradors. Not everybody wants to have a 50 or 55 pound happy Labrador come running at them. Some people have dogs that are afraid of other dogs. And the main reason for number four is I just don't want to be a jerk. So if the rules tell you to have your dog on a leash, Recognize that it's not all about you and anything you can do to share the outdoors with other people and other dogs promotes movement as a lifestyle for everybody. So move more, move often. If you see us with our dogs on a leash, I think you'll know why.